Tony, go ahead. Yeah, Phil, um, what's it like going against Chris Owens, and what does he offer at the center position? Uh, Chris Owens, I mean, he, he's a great guy. Um, I'm happy to see him step up um, after landing being down, and can't wait to see what he's go out, go out and do this week. Um, he do he does a lot for the D lineman. Give us a great look uh, in the run game, also in the passing game. Uh, and he's just been great all around uh, this year around, and I'm just glad to see him step up and take on this big challenge. Aaron Suttles with the second question. When you look back at your recruiting class, that class of 2017, when you when you signed, did you realize how 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 much talent was in that class? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Not until, uh, of course, after we won a um, national championship uh, my um, freshman year. And when you when I looked around, uh, we, we did have a lot of great guys in that class and um, it's starting to see. I mean, it's starting to show a lot right now. No. Uh -uh. Nick Hamilton, go ahead. Hey, good morning. Uh, just wanted to get your thoughts on what it means to be back in, you know, playing the college football playoff as far as the, the school and the program and being playing in the Rose Bowl game itself. Um, I, I feel like it's a it's a great opportunity for our team. Uh, man, we came a long way. Um, it's been a long, well, not a long time, but it's been a, a minute for us. And I'm just happy to see us in this position um, to play for a national title. So I just just hope we can just keep grinding it out, um, keep playing together as a team, and making something big happen. Ralph Russo, over to you. Hey, Federian. Uh, what it, away from the field with all the restrictions and protocols in place? Um, what did you miss? Was it stressful at all? Were there things in particular like that you really had to change your life that were difficult or more maybe more difficult than others? Um, I mean, I, I looked at it like it was a challenge for our team. And I feel like the, as a team, we took on that challenge. We, we, we handled it well uh, with the Zoom calls all over the summer, uh, everybody working out on their own, sending their videos in, sending weight in. Uh, just taking on the challenge. And I think we did that very well throughout the summer, throughout the spring. And it, now it's showing that we didn't play around. We didn't play around and we, uh, we really worked, worked our butts off. And um, we didn't back down from the challenge. Chris Hummer with the next question. Hey, um, you were one of the last to commit as part of that 2017 class. Um, when you kind of signed on the dotted line on signing day, what do you kind of remember thinking about that 2017 class that you were signing with as a whole at that point in time? Uh, when I signed, I really, I really didn't see, like I didn't really think we had a, I mean, I really didn't vision the big class that we have, but just like I say, after winning that national um, championship my freshman year, I was like, wow, man, you got Judy, <laughs> uh, Tua, Smitty, all those guys, and man, Man, that's a, it, we, we did have a big, a big class, so I'm just proud to say that I'm a part of that. Dennis Freeman with the next question. Uh, can you tell me how important is it for you guys to match uh, Notre Dame's phys physicality on the front line? Uh, it's, it's very important because, you know, it, the game starts up front with the D-line, and we got to be aggressive. We got to be tough physical, dominant. We got to match their intensity up front uh, and just get a defensive spark, also the whole team. So it starts up front with us and just matching, matching their intensity. Those guys are very good. Uh, they run the ball pretty, pretty well, got a good quarterback, and we got to get after them. Charlie Potter, go ahead. Hey, Fidarian, just want to ask you about Will Anderson and how you've seen him progress over the course of this season and really the way that he's played these last few games, racking up a bunch of sacks. Uh, Will's been great for us, man. He stepped up and he accepted the challenge as a young guy pretty early. Uh, I'm proud to see how, how far he's became. Uh, we knew when he came in, uh, he was going to be something special. And I'm just proud to say that um, 
she's he's shown everybody that he's he's <laughs> he's old enough to be mature and he can roll with the big dollars now. So I'm Austin, happy to see him work. <laughs> Austin Hugh, go ahead. Hi, yeah, I just wanted to ask kind of follow up about the Notre Dame offensive line. What do you see from them on tape that makes them so good? Obviously, a lot of got a lot of their players have been won awards from the ACC and the AP and stuff like that. What about them specifically stands out? Uh, I mean, they 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 they're physical, and I mean, they physical up front. I mean, there's nothing too bad I can say about those guys. Uh, we just got to come out and and do what we do best and and play physical. Over to Michael Casagrande. Michael, go ahead and unmute yourself. Sorry. Looking back now, you have the time to look back on that Ole Miss game. How much did that mean to the season, and how much did it, it, it change the way this defense played and the way it looked at things? I mean, I feel like the Ole Miss game, it, it really gave us a spark. Uh, you know, we didn't play as well as we wanted to play. Uh, and we just took that game for motivation uh, to, uh, to get us where we're at now. And uh, we try not to think about that. You know, that's in the past. But it is what it is, and we just got to keep rolling. Steve Moulton, over to you. Uh Dylan Moses in particular, I, I'm wondering how big of a, a leader he is on defense and really uh, what he has contributed this year in particular. Uh, Dylan Moses is a great leader for the defense. Uh, and he, he does a lot to get us going on the, um, on the defense as a all. And we just need him to keep leading us throughout these, this, this, the season, this two game season, uh, him just stepping up and giving it all he got. And we'll finish up with AP Stedham. Hey, good afternoon, Federian. Uh, Federian, uh, did you get a chance to watch the Notre Dame offensive line in the first Clemson game and then evaluate the second Clemson game? And what did you see happen between those two games? And then also, what makes Najee Harris so difficult to tackle? Uh, well, first of all, I think Najee, he runs really hard. Uh, he runs low. Uh, <laughs> he got great balance. Uh, man, he's a, he's, a, he's a tough guy to tackle. Uh, and that's it. So. Thank you, Phil.